Doing nothing is not an option. If we do nothing, we will continue to lose our production base here in Britain. And we will export more and more of our production and we shift in from overseas. Farmers cooperating together, collaborating together uh, in large groupings is essential in order to exert some influence uh, on the supply chain and guarantee that we have a, uh, a future for milk production here in Britain. The price of milk is much lower to the producer in the UK than elsewhere. You've just got to look abroad, look in Denmark, uh, look here elsewhere in Holland. Their producer crop lives are returning prices two to three pence a litre above what we get here in Britain. That's on top of any sterling differential. And that's a price that could dramatically change the fortunes of Britain's farmers. That's why we need to go down this route. Two of the leading voices in the UK food and farming industry. Aware that milk prices have crashed and that dairy farmers need to take control of their destiny. At the start of the year, a plan was developed to merge the Milk Group and Zenith Milk's operations into a new generation cooperative based on successful European farmer-owned businesses. It will be called Dairy Farmers of Britain. The key to success will be the ability to achieve cost savings along the length of the supply chain and unlock a substantial amount of capital to allow investment in processing. The chairman of the new cooperative will be David Stern. By forming the new generation cooperative, we will be get, able to get into processing and uh, it's for this reason that we've, we've termed it a new generation cooperative because that is what they're doing in, the, in Europe. And they've been very successful in the way they have managed the dairy industries there and have, in fact, always been able to produce a higher price for the producers than we have in this country. By merging the two businesses, dairy farmers of Britain will become a major player with over 4,000 members, with an annual supply of around 20% of the British milk pool. The business blueprint includes a democratic cooperative structure that offers real member involvement and control, an efficient commercial structure with significant cost savings, a major professionally managed milk supply and marketing business focused on meeting customer needs for quality and service, a clear mechanism to enable the business to raise substantial amounts of capital and invest in processing. And a separate processing business that will focus on growth through joint ventures and acquisitions. The question, why Zenith, why the Milk Group, why the merger? It's because we're very similar businesses. We each have about 1.2 billion litres, so we're, we're balanced in that respect. We each have a desire to change and invest into the processing sector. So we're balanced in that. We each understand the importance of the marketplace and the importance of customers and customer relationships. So we were going along parallel tracks and what we saw is that actually combined together there's a better way of doing it. And immediately bringing these two businesses with overlapping milk fields together creates cost savings, many millions of pounds. Bringing two teams together to sell the milk jointly brings obvious benefits in being able to serve customers. Uh, and, and to be able to capture the best markets. Probably the most exciting part about it is, it is for the first time ever we will be in a position to raise substantial amounts of capital whereby we can get into the middle section of our marketplace. If, if I look at the milk leaving my farm today at perhaps 16 pence a litre, I go in the supermarket and see it on sale at 40 pence a litre. There's a huge slab of income in the middle there that is going in other people's pockets. Ask yourself the question, do you want to carry on with the roller coaster in price you've had for the last few years or do you want to gain some control uh, over the price and try and stabilise it somewhere? Like me, I'm sure you've invested thousands if not hundreds of thousands of pounds on your own farm to make a viable business for the future, for the next 10, 20 years. It seems crazy not to invest further down the line in some sort of processing so we have some control over what happens to our milk in, over the next few years, once it's left the farm gate. The proposal we've got here is a new generation co-op. The co-ops that we've known in the past in this country have been set up on a totally different structure to what this has been set up. We are looking to be masters of our own destiny. We're looking to invest into a, a future. We're looking beyond the farm gate. We've got to look at the bigger picture.
It's no use thinking we can work a way out of this by milking more cows, etc. The co-op gives us a vehicle whereby we can be the processor and the farmer. Within the new cooperative, it's proposed that all members will belong to local groups, each of which elects at least one member to the member council, consisting of around 80 members. The member council elects the directors onto the cooperative board. It's this board that's responsible for the strategic direction of Dairy Farmers of Britain. In order to be successful, Dairy Farmers of Britain is going to use the assets of the co-op to raise capital for investment in processing and therefore increasing the return to members. From the 1st of July, 0.2 pence per litre will be retained by the business. This will be used for a 13th payment for general reserves and the member capital account. This means that the business will be able to build its capital base and borrow funds against it for investments in processing. But the key to unlocking significant capital is the member guarantee. This is common practice for many European dairy co-ops and has enabled them to move at a faster pace of development than here in the UK. But it's not a demand for upfront cash. Within the DFB proposals, the guarantee has been set at 5 pence per litre based on the members' previous year's production. For members who would prefer not to sign up to the guarantee, a substitute liability loan is to be provided as an option. This replaces the guarantee agreement with a cash investment of 1.25 pence per litre. The member guarantee, which is a form of contingent liability, is crucial to the new structure because it allows us to borrow money against a guarantee signed by an individual farmer. By giving that uh, guarantee, it allows us to borrow money early on in our business when our capital base will be relatively small. So it gives us tremendous power to make progress very quickly. The liability is, uh, is indeed not something which is new. It's been used uh, for many, many years in, uh, in, in cooperatives on the continent. Even as a Rabobank, we were started on liability. We were started on unlimited liability. Nothing ever went wrong. But more importantly, I suppose, for dairy farmers is that Campina, uh, Friesland Dairy, uh, Ala, MD Foods, all of these had also in the past liabilities, uh, liability as a, as a capitalization instrument. Campina dropped it about five years ago because they have enough other capital means now, but they are now a very strong, uh, big cooperative. The potential leverage on, on, on the liability is between 0.8 and 1. It's not the same as real capital. But if we look in the case of, of the, the joint group, the liability could add up to about 125 million pounds, which would mean that if I can leverage 1, that I can at least take some opportunity in the market to go into an investment of that type of order. The processing business of the new cooperative will run as a separate commercial enterprise called Dairy Farmers of Britain Processing. Initially it will be made up of the milk group subsidiaries and will focus on expansion through joint ventures and acquisitions. The milk group currently owns and manages two dairy processing units at Neen Valley Foods in Peterborough and Le Bourne Cheese in Somerset. Both are specialist dairy businesses, which process and manufacture products for the high added value consumer markets. The primary purpose of processing is to add value to milk. That's the most important aspect, and the, at the end of the day, it is the aim of the new company to, to, to add as much value to milk as possible. We have to do this in, in terms of processing um, by uh, developing brands, by developing new products, but also by processing significant quantities so that we can um, add value onto large volumes of milk and, and ensure that we get an improved price back to the farmers. Since the announcement in January, the merger and formation of Dairy Farmers of Britain has been governed by an interim board of farmer and non-farmer directors, drawn equally from the Milk Group and Zenith Milk. Until elections take place in 2003, David Stern of the Milk Group will be chairman and John Cook of Zenith 
vice chairman. Leading the executive teams, Chris Bird of Zenith will be chief executive, and Robert Ordas of the Milk Group will be MD of DFB Processing. Both boards urge you to support these steps. I'm asking you to, to vote in favour of the merger. I realise that many of you may not be able to attend the meetings which are set up to vote, uh, but I do ask you to return the proxies, as we believe it is essential to show that the majority of our members are in favour of this merger, and not just the majority of those that are voting. I think if we're going to be a serious player in the dairy industry in the future, we have to raise capital. It's having capital that gives you the options to go forwards. And any successful business does need those options. And the key about a new generation cooperative is, is allowing farmers to raise money, put into capital, so we can start the process of processing our milk. This merger of two of the UK's largest milk groups, your investment as farmer shareholders, and the proposed take-up of substantial processing activities means that Dairy Farmers of Britain is gearing up to become a major commercial force in the UK milk market. Please study the formal circular carefully, attend the special general meetings, or send in your proxy forms and vote to make a difference. I think it's imperative that you vote in favour of this um, merger. It may well be our last real opportunity to actually restructure the industry. We can either wait and see vertical integration take place by the companies doing it, or we can get out there and do something about it ourselves. I really believe that this is the future for dairy farmers. We have been waiting so long for this opportunity to come to move up the supply chain. And at last, with a positive vote, we can take the steps. One very positive aspect in the British market. One thing, you have good farmers, relatively large scale, relatively efficient. You have a very good consumer market, but you have a complete screwed up commercialization structure. And that's what this is all about. To improve the commercialization structure, to make it efficient, and to get a better share of the consumer price. I would definitely go for this. Uh, otherwise, farmers will have no real say in the future in the, in the dairy industry in the UK. Yes, I, th I think it is the way forward. I don't think we have an option anymore. You know, we've talked about uh, cooperation, collaboration for so many years. Uh, it's now crunch time. We've actually got to get on with it. And we've got to get on with it in large, uh, effective groupings, integrated into processing, and really meeting market uh, requirements, demands, being innovative on product development, and leading the game. There is uh, no choice. The creation of Dairy Farmers of Britain marks a watershed in the changes that uh, we've seen in the last few years. It creates a substantial building block to give the structure that we need. It starts involvement with processing and what's more, it will give us the ability to add value in a way that we have not done and pass it back to the producer. Voting yes is a vote for the future and a vote for a better return for Britain's dairy farmers. So if you ask me one simple question, why should our members vote for this? It's quite simple. If we as an industry carry on doing what we're doing, we'll carry on getting what we're getting. And what we're getting is not good enough for dairy farming for this country. So what we're trying to do is something quite different. And yes, that means taking a tough decision. And yes, that means putting money into the business. But by being involved in it, by controlling it, by investing in it, for the long term, we have to be able to create a better future for dairy farmers. Dairy Farmers of Britain, making a difference. Call 08454 500 955 or 08700 108 181 for more information. <laughs>